gonna spot me the four bits or not? Ma, what happened? Oh, I lent it to that that redheaded kid. He gave me some sob story about needing a new pair of shoes. Oh, Ma. If I can't expect a little charity from my own daughter on Christmas Eve without a third degree. Here. I loved the classic film noir, old timey feeling to it with the sleazy scoundrels we know so well. The old diner on Christmas Eve creating that cozy nostalgia. The black and white creating that timeless appeal, but also tying into the themes of good versus evil and that feeling of what lurks in the shadows. And uh, I think they used the short story format brilliantly. We had a very clear beginning, climax, and ending with a nice cheeky little twist at the end that was absolutely delightful. I, uh, I thought the performances were great. The, the elderly woman was brilliant. So props to everyone on the casting for this, this piece as well. And everybody felt like they were playing in the same world in the same time period. And, um, it gave it that nice kind of heightened appeal to it. It was shot in black and white, really reminiscent of those older movies. And each character is very, very distinct archetypes. You have the rude and distrustful daughter. You have the all too trusting sweet mom. And we think that these will be the prey of the con who is clearly set up. Um, we established the conners very, very con artists very early. We established the the scammies very early and we kind of expect it to end a certain way, which it surprisingly does not. The con ends up being the conners and the prey ends up being the predator. And and I always really love when it gives a turn of events like that and and what the archetype that we expect to see um, ends up being the opposite of what it actually is. I love films like this that have that film noir kind of feel to it. And the cinematographers, they did justice to this because the texture and the clarity of the black and white and how just very high definition it was, it was absolutely stunning. Costumes were great. I thought that the actors did a really good job, especially in making it, making their speech kind of sound like that era, that film noir kind of mystery. The story on this was really, really good. And I liked the twist at the end. The uh, font selection of the title card to uh, making the choice of it being in black and white, the costuming, the sound design, all of these different elements really make you feel that nostalgic aspect. And even with the storyline itself as the characters are sitting here putting up a ruse to fool, uh, you know, a couple of individuals who also happen to be women, um, only to find that they are being fooled themselves. It is sort of a classic uh, cat, cat and mouse and kind of a reversal uh, act in the end there. And so it really follows this uh, traditional element to what a film noir is. And something about a carousel always finds this mystical, whimsical, you know, there's this sense of innocence, like it made me feel familiar and be reflective of stories such as of mice and men even. This was delightful for what it was. Uh, they did a great job at playing up into that era, that genre, that sort of 50s style, uh, everything from the, you know, the, the dress to uh, the editing to the transitions. It's all there. It's used to great effect. Um, you know, the story is just uh, fun and, and cute um, and uh, just overall uh, compelling. So I feel like there's like a comic twist like in this short film that kind of set it like uh, different from like n normal action thriller uh, short films. And also like because it's the setting, it's not like in the present time, it's like the period like short film. So the, the aesthetic of it is kind of like uh, reflective of like um, the 
night the thirties, like forties, like black and white films, and I feel like uh the style of it is pretty like different and interesting to watch, with a comedic sense and like the good like treatment of the thriller element of this short film. I feel like it's pretty fun to watch it all along.